everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Paola and today I have a very special guest. Julian, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us why we're here today? Yes, sure. Hi, I am Julian Winters, a young adult author of several contemporary novels. Uh, the most recent being Right Where I Left You, which is a, another YA contemporary novel about a comic book obsessed teen named Isaac Martin who just graduated from high school and is planning the most epic summer which includes going to his first ever teen pride um, and trying to get badges to this super ultra exclusive comic book convention Legends Con uh, so he can go with his best friend Diego. Uh, they have a really tight-knit friendship and Isaac's trying to spend as much time as possible with him before he goes to college uh, in the fall. Until Isaac's old crush um, Davi enters the picture and suddenly all their plans kind of get mixed up and Isaac doesn't get the badges to the convention so now he's trying to balance pursuing his crush while also maintaining his friendship with Diego and that starts to change a bit when uh, Diego's feelings start to come to the surface. I'm so excited. I remember when you did the cover reveal and I was like, I am so hooked. I, am, I already know that I'm going to love these. I mean, the summer of everything was literally everything. Like, I love that book with my whole heart. Thank and you so much. I just couldn't wait to read this one. And I'm really glad that I had the chance to do so. Uh, such high stakes, though. So I love that this is a coming of age and also a romance. So how do you balance the two, the two genres slash themes in the in the book? That that was actually pretty difficult this time. Usually, uh, it's something I I've, I've done in the past where it's like, okay, yeah, I, I come in this one angle where I'm like, I the romance is like the first thing I think of. And then all these other character arcs start working their way into it. I'm like, oh, let's be interesting if we explore these things. Um, and with this one, it was really interesting uh, because I knew I definitely wanted to explore um, Isaac dealing with different sides of romance and different feelings and whatnot. Um, and then the more me and my editor dug into it, the more she was like, well, what about this aspect of Isaac's life? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that too, that too. So um, the romance came first and then I exploration of Isaac's family dynamic, his social anxiety, um, dealing with new friendships, the way he, um, handles those things came in later um, and it did it did become a little like okay how do I make this all happen but my editor she is brilliant and she helped me to balance it all out um, while also me getting in there what I really wanted to get in there which were discussions of like how representation matters and mm -hmm. fandom and things like that so I love that I was able to get that I hope that readers get that feeling that at the end they're like swooning over the romance but also like yes that feel re felt really good to see these things happen for Isaac yes so what we're I mean you mentioned the the uh, the matter of representation um so is that something that you knew you wanted to explore from the beginning did it sneak up on you no, that one, that actually didn't sneak up on me, thank goodness, because a lot of other things did. Um, <laughs> but that didn't, uh, because I knew going in, um, as someone who has spent his whole life um, absorbed in comic books and graphic novels and things like that, um, I knew I wanted to explore that aspect of it, how representation matters in media and art and literature and whatnot, because it's, it's such a big part of my growing up experience and the ways that I felt seen. And then a lot of the ways where I didn't feel seen or a lot of the ways where I wish things would have happened differently um, for characters that I read in books and still, and still do. Um, where it's like, when it comes to representation for BIPOC characters, it's like, why do they always have to fight so hard for their happy endings and the, their other counterparts don't? Or uh, they have to fight so hard to be seen and it not be solely about their identity and things like that. So I knew I wanted to explore that deeply, um, but also explore the joy of it and the community mm -hmm. and the things that you can find there. So 
I love that. I saw it as well in the summer of everything that it's just so much about the joy yeah. that you, I, I just feel so enveloped in it. And that's why I'm saying that sometimes maybe people don't see how high stakes it can be. Like this uh, bookstore is about to close. Like, who cares? Because you're about to go to college and stuff. And it's like, no, this stuff matters to me. Yeah. It is high stakes. I yeah. love it. And I think that's a lot down to like your character writing chops. So <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate that. I do feel like a lot of times people want it to be some big thing for it to be high stakes mm -hmm. um, and them not realizing by minimizing the smaller things. We're saying that the, the things that do matter to us, um, it only matters depending on the size of it uh, and something yeah. something that means that much to you, whether it's a bookstore, whether it's a comic book, whether it's a fandom, um, whether it's just you like having the opportunity to fall in love like everyone else. Those are high yeah. stakes. Those are big parts of of growing up and of experiencing life. So I do appreciate that so much. So this is a new game. You're premiering it. This is an exclusive. Um, this is Never Have I Ever Bookish Edition. So... I, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so never have I ever stolen a book. No, I have not. Okay. Uh, never have I ever broken a book spine unintentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have. Like, not broken a book spine, but I heard some cracks. So I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Try to hold it together. So, no, I don't think I have, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never have I ever written fanfic for a popular fandom. Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Yes. Okay. Have. Never have I ever doggy eared pages of my books. No, no. Or any book. I have never... <laughs> Done that. I listen. You gotta, you gotta bookmark how you bookmark. But I cannot do that. I, if I just get a little tear in one of my pages, I will order a new copy. I oh. feel so bad. Yes, I am that person. I feel so bad. So I could not. I couldn't dog ear. <laughs> uh, never have I ever complained about a book to movie or TV adaptation because of how <laughs> bad it was. Uh, I have done that multiple times <laughs> uh, yes I, I in fact I just wrote a whole short story that kind of has that theme in there so yes I have nice um never have I ever canceled plans to read I haven't <laughs> I haven't canceled plans but I have specifically said no to plans oh to read. yeah I mean, that's one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it falls in it. So kind of, yes, yes, I have. Okay, I definitely okay. said, no, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy. And it's just because I wanted to finish a book. Yeah, I mean, it's important. <laughs> exactly. I've, I've, I've invested this much time. I'm so close. I'm sorry. I have to finish this. What's been rewarding about writing geeky and queer characters? Oh, gosh. There has been so much. There, I, I have honestly felt so much love writing about not only queer characters, but queer geeky characters from readers who have felt seen, who haven't felt like they've had a chance to read um, books like that because so much is focused on the negative of being, you know, a geek or being queer or, or whatever the identity is or whatever the, the, the things that they find joy in. So it that's been rewarding for me is to get that response from readers. It's also been rewarding for myself because this is the kind of stuff I wanted to read growing up. I wanted to feel like I could just exist and just mm -hmm. be who I am. And that's celebrated mm -hmm. um, and that's explored in a way that doesn't make me feel like who I am is a negative or who I am um, doesn't make an impact. And mm -hmm. like Wes in The Summer of Everything, uh, when he's talking to Miss Rossi, she's very much like, don't make an impact, be the impact. And that's mm -hmm. what I hope that I 
am doing is being an impact for readers um, who are looking for geeky characters, or looking for queer characters, or looking for uh, a multitude of characters who who can be messy, who have different experiences, who find love and joy in the small things, but also have to tackle on the bigger issues that aren't always talked about um, because we're so focused on other things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. And it's just so, so impactful to read about because often like geeky fandoms get conflated with whiteness and the yes. like toxicity that comes with that. So yes. I really appreciate your books for, you know, being the other side of that, being the, you know, the joy that comes with being in a fandom as yeah. a person of color like I love that yes because we exist in those spaces and I mm-hmm. think it's I think it's, it's important that we shine a light on them, um because it can be like you said very toxic and very difficult to be the minority in that space uh, but to know that we have a community and we uh can share this together and you know just geek out as hard as hell I, I want people to know that yes Yes, more books like that. So do you have any other projects that we should be excited about? You mentioned a uh, story. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I always forget because I feel like I, I'm in so many anthologies. It's bad. I do have some stuff. Um, I have a short story and the Eternally Yours, which is a paranormal, paranormal romance anthology edited by Patrice Caldwell uh, that's coming out. I think it's this year. I, I lose dates so bad. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about anthology that comes out next year, which is the Cool Black Awkward anthology edited by Karen Strong. I have a really geeky uh, story in there, which is semi like a Cinderella kind of vibe to it. Uh, yeah, excited about that. Um, and there is the uh, grimoire of Grave Fates, I hope I got that right, I'm sorry, uh, which is a magic school uh, mystery, murder mystery kind of um, anthology that I'm in. So there's- Oh my God. I know, gosh, so many things there. But that one's that one's really exciting because that was a, a definite, uh, it was challenging in the most fun way. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and then my next book after Right Where I Left You is uh, YA Contemporary comes out next year. The title has not been announced because I suck at titles. So we're still working <laughs> on that. But I'm excited about that one because um, it is what would happen if five teens who were trying to escape their problem all ended up in the same bedroom at a house party. Um, and what would come of that. So it's kind of like the Breakfast Club meets all the old school uh, teen house party movies, um, but yes. definitely is one of my, uh, it's definitely a different kind of book for me because I definitely dive deep into a lot of different themes that I don't think I've really explored in other books that I've written that I've wanted to talk about. Um, and I'm glad I got to talk about with this one. So, yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> I love everything you write, as you thank know. Thank you so much. But... I enjoy you. You are wonderful. I cannot thank you enough for all the love you gave the summer of everything before it came out. So thank you. Oh my God, it's such a good book. People at home, if you haven't read it already, do it now. It's so good. So good. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just like, I love that book. Um, and also, obviously, get right where I left you. Links in the description below. Oh my God, look at that cover. Is it I so? Know, I love it. <sighs> so, I love this so I, much. I'm in love. Yes. I'm in love. The color <laughs> scheme, everything in it is just like, Mwah. I love. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay so thank you julian so much for doing this with me it means the world to me thank um, you so much. and thank you everyone at home for watching don't forget to check uh the description below for all the links so that you can get right where i left you and of course support julian and yeah we will see you in another one bye